I want to talk to you today about drop it. We all have had negative things happen to us. People did us wrong. The company laid us off. A clerk was rude to us. It's easy to go through life offended, in self-pity, blaming others, blaming ourselves, even blaming God. And because we're always looking back, reliving the negative, we end up carrying around all this baggage that weighs us down. One of the best things we can learn to do is drop it, let it go. Whether it happened 20 years ago or 20 minutes ago, don't carry negative baggage from yesterday into today. You won't live a victorious life if you're always reliving what didn't work out, who hurt you, the mistakes you've made. The reason it's called the past is because it's over. It's done, it's history. Now do your part and let it go. Well, Joel, they betrayed me. They walked away, broke my heart. That's why I'm bitter. That's why I'm upset. Well, they hurt you once. Don't let them continue to hurt you by always thinking about it. Quit dwelling on it. Quit reliving it. Move forward. There is a new beginning in front of you. Everything you've gone through has deposited something on the inside. You're not defined by your past. You're prepared by your past. You may not realize it, but you came out stronger, with more confidence, greater experience. If that hadn't have happened, you wouldn't be prepared for the new levels that are coming your way. Don't have that poor old me, look what I've been through attitude. You may have made a lot of mistakes. You have a lot of regrets. But you can't do anything about yesterday. Living guilty and condemned doesn't make it any better. You have to drop it. This is a new day. There are new victories, new opportunities, new relationships. Quit living in what was and come over into what is. Right now, there is freedom for you. Right now, there are new beginnings, joy, peace, victory. And crying over what happened yesterday doesn't bring freedom. Living in regrets of what you could have been, what you should have done, doesn't do anything productive. Being offended, angry, upset over what didn't work out will only keep you in mediocrity. It's time to drop it and move forward. You may be a product of your past, but you don't have to be a prisoner of your past. You have to put your foot down and say, that's it. I may have gone through some disappointments. I may have made some mistakes, but I'm not going to waste the time I have left worried about what I could have done better, bitter over who hurt me, upset over what didn't work out. I'm stepping out of the was and I'm coming over into the is. I'm dropping the offense, dropping the guilt, dropping the failure, dropping the hurt. I'm not living my life with any more baggage. I'm going to live my life free. If there are some things you don't understand, you worked hard, but you didn't get the promotion, or you did your best, but your marriage didn't make it. Instead of carrying around that baggage, you have to be mature enough to say, I'm not gonna live bitter. I'm not gonna go through life looking in my rear view mirror. I'm gonna keep moving forward, knowing that my best days are still up ahead. You may have had a rough start, but you don't have to have a rough finish. Better is the end. Maybe you went through a disappointment. Somebody broke your heart. The medical report wasn't good. Don't get stuck on what happened yesterday. Something better is coming. There may be some rough places in the middle, but don't stay focused on the betrayal. Better is coming. Don't go around in self-pity. Better is coming. You prayed and believed, but the medical report wasn't good. Something better is coming. Now don't cancel out the better by living in yesterday reliving your hurts, your failures, the disappointments. If your mind is always in yesterday, you're going to move in that direction. You can't go forward looking backwards. If you're always thinking about who hurt you, what didn't work out, reliving your failures, you're going to get stuck. Receive this into your spirit. Better is coming. Joy is coming. Healing is coming. Breakthroughs are coming. Victory is coming. But sometimes 
We spend more energy holding on to the negative than we do letting it go. How do you drop it? Stop thinking about it and stop talking about it. Don't relive the negative things that have happened to you. The reason some people never see the better is because they're always opening up old wounds. Every week they call their friend, can you believe what they did to me? That happened 27 years ago. They're still dragging it up like it happened yesterday. If you're going to get free, you need to not only drop it, you need to bury it, have a funeral for it, put it away once and for all, make a decision. You're not going to talk about it another time. When you're tempted to, just zip it up. When you're bitter, you push people away. When you're offended, angry, living guilty, it pushes opportunities away. You have to get the stink out of your life. Leave the baggage. That's pushing people and opportunities away. Forgive them and let it drop. Leave it and let it go. Notice the principle, drop it, leave it, and let it go. Maybe somebody's talking about you, trying to make you look bad. You could easily be upset, offended, try to pay them back. Why don't you try a different approach? Drop it, leave it, and let it go. Don't waste another minute being bitter. Drop it, leave it, let it go. You took a step of faith, but it didn't work out. The business didn't make it. You could easily be sour. No, three simple things. Drop it, leave it, let it go. The reason it says leave it is because you'll be tempted to go pick it back up. You may drop it at first, and that's good. That's the right thing. But tomorrow morning, when you think about what they said, how rude they were, you'll want to pick up the hurt, pick up the bitterness. I know people that have been picking up the same offense for 47 years. It's no longer a bag. It's attached to them. It's a part of who they are. You have to leave it. Life is too short to carry around negative baggage. Your destiny is too important. Your time is too valuable to go through the day weighted down by offense, by guilt, by disappointments, by hurts. You have to make this decision to not only drop it, but to leave it. Don't give in to the temptation to pick it back up. What they did to you may have been wrong. It may not be easy, but for your sake, not theirs. You need to drop it, leave it, let it go. But when you hold on to bitterness, unforgiveness, guilt, actually you're not holding it, but it's holding you. That poison will lead you down the wrong path. Don't play games with negative baggage, bitterness, unforgiveness, guilt, drop it and let it go. Well, Joel, I don't understand why this happened to me. Why did these people do me wrong? Why did I come down with this illness? People ask me, why did your mother get healed and my mother didn't? We're never going to understand everything. Don't get caught up in the whys of life. One day it will be clear. But if you're always trying to figure out why everything happens, you're going to end up bitter, frustrated. The best thing you can do is just leave it alone. Maybe you've gone through some things that don't make sense. It's bothering you, causing you to be bitter, discouraged, upset. You need to do what they did. Quit trying to figure it all out and go back to what you do know. And the truth is, we all need to have a file in our thinking called an I don't understand it file. And when something comes up that doesn't make sense, you can't find an answer to, instead of getting bitter, frustrated, just put it in your I don't understand it file and keep moving forward. If you make the mistake of going through life trying to figure out why everything happened, why did I get sick? Why did my loved one not make it? That's going to poison your future. I'm asking you to quit looking back. Focus your energies on forgetting what lies behind. Is there something you need to drop? An offense, a hurt, a failure? There's no better time than now. Today can be a turning point. Make this decision with me. You're going to get rid of your negative baggage. You're not only going to drop it, but you're going to leave it. If you'll do this, I believe and declare something better is coming. Joy is coming. 
Favor is coming, the fullness of your destiny. And if you receive it, can you say amen today?